Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for June 28th to July 4th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, the Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com. All the information is in the description box below. All right, my darlings, let's jump right in here. So we're going to talk about... Uh, the day-to-day, -day, the love interest feelings, the block days and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going to my Gemini's romantic love life for June 28th, July 4th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Something that you're going to get whether you want this week, actually, Gemini. Okay. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy coming in fast there. Yeah, they are coming in fast, actually. I mean, I felt like that also with the, the this, um, actually, this is a page energy. It's on a horse. Usually, you know, knights are on horses. But for this particular week, though, it seems like this energy is coming in fast. Okay, so we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy as well. Okay, in your love interest feelings. And the blockage is, hmm, new perspective, new ideas. So I feel like you guys are trying to be very discerning about your situation. I feel like you're like, well, there's a lot of really nice options here, but I really need to be concerned about this one particular one. There's this one particular one that you really focused in on. So, and like you gain new perspective about this, or you're trying to, this, this person may be a little bit out of your wheelhouse, Gemini. Okay, um, let's also go see here. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. What is up with this week with truth coming out? Okay, um, five of pentacles energy. You left someone out in the cold. And as a result, they want to come forward here and contact you. So they're going to contact you. They're going to reach out because they want to heal the connection. You've got a couple of things going on this week. So... Let's get some clarity on this. Okay, so page of wands shows me that there's someone coming in fast, all right? They're really passionate about you, Gemini. And you know what? They really want to communicate with you. They're putting a lot of energy behind this, all right? There also is a Taurus for Capricorn energy. So, so we see for July, excuse me, June 28th, 29th, 30th, uh, July 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. So it looks like it's, it's going to be... Want June 28th now. You may already be aware of this person though, but they're very, they're very flirty, Gemini. Okay, so it's like kind of this back and forth banter going on between you and them. All right, so what's gonna happen? My Gemini's romantic love life, June 28th to July 4th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. I feel like they're just like ready to just lay it down though. That's what I feel like. But I feel like this is not. Not usually your type, though. Well, it's not usually your type. We see that there is this back and forth kind of energy. A lot of communication happening here by the 29th of June. And it looks like you definitely have clarity by the 30th of June. All right, so we see something to do with this house and a commitment to argue, debate. Okay, so... When we look at the Kipper or we look at the Lenore and we see the house card, it can be talking about actually a house, okay? It can talk about this flirting can be taking place at this building, this house, okay? We see that there is this commitment to communicate and to kind of debate back and forth to get some clarity here, okay? So the communication also for some of you, you could have been married to this person, okay? We'd see the marriage card coming out or there could be a marriage involved with this or it just could be saying, that there is this house, this stable situation, and a commitment to uh, arguing, fighting, disputing, debating to get clarity, okay? So let's keep going. So what's gonna happen, if I look at the numbers of this too, there's some kind of potential for effort and for an opportunity. So it's like, there's a lot of effort being put into an opportunity here, ace card energy. So what's gonna happen with my Gemini's Romantic Love Life for June 28th to July 4th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. 
All right, so there seems to be this confusion going on. Mm -hmm. But very soon a decision will be made because of this text message letter and document. Now the page of wands obviously can be flirty energy, potential for passionate situation, exploratory energy. It also can talk about messages, right? Flirty messages, potential flirty messages happening here at a house, okay? Mm -hmm. And this could be family, uh, family house too, okay? So we could see that this, there could be flirting going on and there's something to do with house and family and some sense of confusion, okay? And we see, I'm not saying that there is a, you guys know what I mean. Okay, um, there's communication and a commitment to making a decision very soon. And we see that there's clarity that will be gained because of this back and forth energy when it came to these text message letters and documents. So, because you're a little bit confused, like, okay, I'm gonna have to make a decision about this. And it's like, you're like, this person's really different from my usual type of expectations. But it's like, you know what, you're, you're very attractive actually on the 1st of July, you're getting a lot of people's attention here, Gemini, with the Queen of Wands energy. Yeah, so very, very, you're in that very attractive energy there, the Queen of Wands. So, and it does look like someone wants to spend some time with you on this day, because we got the courtship card, okay? And, and have some conversations with you, heart to heart conversations. Okay, so, so far, you got this potential passionate situation, okay, coming in fast. And uh, it looks like it's a little bit different than what you're used to. But then it looks like the, on, by the July 1st, it's like, I want to spend some time with you. Let's talk about this. Let's be together. Kind of energy. But you got a lot of responsibilities and burdens you're dealing with here on July 2nd. It's like you're like, I'm a little bit overwhelmed here. Okay, and you're kind of like, I need to focus in on what I got to get done here. Okay, because it seems like there's a despair card coming out. And you're like feeling like I need to bring things into balance. I got a lot of stuff I got to get done. I need to bring this into balance. I can't focus on this right now. So we see by the 3rd of July, you guys are in the place of, all right, I'm being patient. I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do here. You may even be getting some kind of advice. Okay, so it looks like you're going to make some kind of decision about people here. We see that the garden card talks about multiple people involved with the situation. So, so far it seems like Gemini, you have this sense of confusion, needing to make a, a decision very soon. Let's see what the bottom of the deck says also. Yeah, a new situation's coming in. Yeah, suddenly, yep. And then the bottom of this deck says this uncertainty, but intuitively you know this person really misses you and there's an opportunity here. You're kind of like trying to make the best decision here. Let's get a little bit more information about this, this uh, page of swords energy. Why you don't feel like, why do you feel naive about it? What's this new perspective? Let's get more information here before we go further. What is this page of swords about spirit? What's this page of swords about? Give me more information about this page of swords for the blockage, please. Hmm. So you're like, I, I need some kind of peace here and I'm trying to reflect on a situation here. It looks like something was manifested here, but you're lacking in that trust because there seems to be this sense of rejection in your comfort. You're, you're rejecting it. You're not feeling comfortable with it. It makes you feel anxious. And so you're like, I want my anxiousness, my worry to stop here because I'm focused on growth and I'm trying to go with the flow here, but I really need to bring things into balance and I'm surrendering to a situation in my intuition because I'm very cautious. Okay, so I feel like some of you guys, the issue is also you may really be focused a lot on your, your career and finance at the moment and it's like this person's coming in, it's like you're just like, um, I got other things I got to deal with and I'm not expecting this, it's just a little bit sudden and now you're kind of like, I, I have to deal with these responsibilities and stuff but this person's trying to like move things very fast, they want to, they want things to happen very fast and also you're kind of like not trusting in it because you're just like, I got all this stuff going on and I need to be a little bit more discerning about my time. Okay, so let's go further here. So we see the hangman energy coming out. So it's like by the July 4th, you're like, all right, I feel a little bit stuck or I'm ready to make some kind of sacrifice here. Okay, we see family, possibly some of you guys maybe spending some time with family, family room, some kind of intimate situation here, a meeting, okay, small group of people and cutting away unhealthy things from the past. Okay. Let's bring it all together. 
Seems like there's some kind of confusion and very soon you're gonna make a decision about a text message letter or document. There's gonna be some communication back and forth, how to bring things into balance. I wanna spend some time with you and there's some socializing going on and you're like, I need to cut away some unhealthy things from the past, okay? Or I don't wanna make any abrupt decisions. So you're kind of stuck there by July 4th. You're kind of feeling stuck because you got things going on. Okay, so we see that there's this house uh, and a commitment or a, you know stable stability and stable is this commitment to debating arguing fighting about spending time together feeling the sense of despair maybe to make a decision about spending this intimate time because it's like this person wants to to be intimate with you or passionate with you <laughs> okay and it's like you're like I have this stuff going on so it's like there's a lot of flirting going on, a lot of movement here, a lot of communication to get clarity about the chemistry and passion. But there's burdens and responsibilities and like this patient energy and some things that have to be sacrificed or the stuck energy here. Okay, so let's move forward now to your love interest feelings. Your love interest, whoever you're here for, whoever you want to know about Gemini, they are confused, okay? They're like, what does Gemini want? I really want to end the hurt and pain here, Ten of Swords energy, and I'm ready to make a power move, but it seems like there's still this kind of stiff energy. You see main person, yep, Emperor card, healing the situation. They want to take a, uh, make a power move. They want more control to heal the situation, okay? Very straightforward. This person wants to be patient here, and they have the sense that, you know, you're isolating yourself from them, and they're at a crossroads about that or that there's concerns about you're not being single and available to pursue, or they're not single and available to pursue. So we see, if you look at the numbers of this, it's saying they're doing a lot of analyzing here, Gemini, about this power, this control, so th something can be completed here, accomplished here in the connection. So let's take a look at this page of swords. What did I say the blockage was for you guys this week? We see work, and there also is, is this concern of do I really have feelings for this person? Because this person's a little bit different from my usual type and expectations. I don't want to be naive about this. Okay, so let's keep going. And let's take a look at the overall outcome here. So there's this new situation coming in. We see the full card energy. And we see there's some things opening up for money and finance here, or family, Ten of Pentacles energy. And the truth is coming out, Queen of Swords energy. We see there's this text message letter and document. It's been a long road, um, a long distance, long road, and there's some travel and change here going on. So the pathway card can say, okay, this has been a long time, okay? Or there's a, there's a distance between us. I wanna travel towards you. We see you're getting this text message letter, a document. Let's uh, take a risk on this. I feel bad about what happened, and I know you're stressing out about family, about money, about abundance, okay? Uh, I want to heal this situation. I'm trying to be here for you, and I don't know how to be honest about this. I've thought about this deeply. I want to make the effort here towards this new love. And we see ending, stopping, completing the concerns, ending the concerns. Something was unexpected, sudden here about the situation, about this truth. We see there's this relationship, this soulmate connection. I want to make the best decision when it comes to the long term. How do I be honest with you? I don't know how I can tell you this, or I need to keep my thoughts to myself, or I'm, I'm hiding my thoughts from you. Seven of Swords energy. Going further, I've been waiting around to see how things are going to play out, but I'm really confused here, and this truth is really going to shock and surprise you, that they've been holding that back. They've been, they haven't been telling you about this, so they're going to come clean here, it looks like, and this is, going to, this is actually why you feel a bit stuck about it. Some deceptions, the hidden aspects about the person, main person, about a relationship. And we see travel, something to do with travel, movement or change that was unexpected about this relationship. So something big happens about this, um, this relationship, which is shock and surprise because it's gonna be revealed, the truth is gonna be revealed because there's been some hidden aspects about it. And it looks like there's an offer of love here, Ace of Cups energy or a new opportunity coming in. I want to make an effort here but you're kind of like thrown off because you have all these other things going on here, Gemini. Oh my goodness. All right, my beautiful Geminis. I love you guys so much. You guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, I want to hear from you, Geminis. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.